a sinner and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Come, sinner, and repent- Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most- No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh no, I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. Ah! I don't want to forgive you! Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. No, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds! Are you talking to me? Yes, you, with those eyes that would belong on the Reaper's face. I- Oh? I, I, I'm sorry for bothering you, sir. If you don't have anything you need to confess, uh, that's fine. No, actually, there is one thing I'd like to get off my chest. Of course. Go right on ahead. This all happened a long time ago. But this turtle's brought over a painting by the master artist Beryl Benito. It was a gorgeous work of art. Too beautiful for words. 
The price was a little steep, but I couldn't help myself. Only later, I found out it was a total fake. So, you want to repent for letting yourself be guided by worldly desires? No. Buying it was my decision. I don't have any regrets. Even if the painting itself was fake, my heartfelt admiration for its beauty was real. What are you going on about? Did you say something? N no, uh, then for what do you wish to repent? The truth is, when I saw that painting, I didn't have enough money on me. So I uh, swiped 100 gold from my little sister's hidden savings. That's uh, the one part I wish I'd done differently. <laughs> I see. Fear not, my son. No matter what the Empyreans may decide, I know your sister would forgive you. I hope so. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds! Do you mean me? Yes. Or at least I would. But perhaps you're too young to have done anything to repent. Uh, no. There is something. I've kept it a secret so far, but I'll confess it now. And I shall listen, my son. Not too long ago, I found a slug in the forest. And I read in a book that if you sprinkle salt on a slug, it'll shrink. I wanted to try it out for myself, so... So you sprinkled salt on the slug. It's true, that was not a good act. But if the experience taught you to respect life and its fragility, then the slug's sacrifice was not in vain, and... No, that's not what happened! I messed up, and I put sugar on the slug, not salt. And... And then... The sugar attracted a whole bunch of ants to the slug. And they... It was awful! Ugh. I'm so sorry, slug! You didn't deserve that! It's okay. I forgive you. It was all a terrible accident. There's... one more thing. I wanted to see what would happen if I poured sugar water down an anthill. And... <laughs> I'm sorry to you too, ants. <laughs> Kids can sure be weirdly cruel sometimes. One of them off-limit Class 4 islands that folks call Serpent Isle. Place has been overrun with snakes since forever. I hate the things, so it sounds like hell to me. 
But I've heard there's a woman who actually lives there. Whatever for? Why would anyone want to live in a place like that? I know. It's mighty strange. Place supposedly is crawling with demons, too. Last time I was in the area, I checked it out. Kept my distance, of course. Used my spyglass. And? Was she there? Aye, she was. Except she looked like a snake herself. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird color, and her lower half was all slithery and wiggly. Ugh. Creep me out. A snake woman, huh? Even worse, looked like you couldn't swing a cat without hitting a snake. <sighs> Just the thought of it keeps me awake at night. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep before you pass out on deck. I'll tell Benwick to give you an extra ration. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, first mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> I ought to pester him for some of that aged reserve he keeps hidden away. Welcome back. Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs? On my ship? You're not a dog person. I was, uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... She knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... What should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea! I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides... They remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey, then! Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs! <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Better be ready.
Deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing.
Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But... I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... have to... Solve it! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have... vengeance. Solve it! 